Hey fellas, it's Saturday, what, about 10 to 9? You know, we're about 70 in the garage. It's March 5th. And it's definitely not going to be a John Kerry day today, nor tomorrow. As you can see, uh, it's NASCAR weekend here, and uh, I think there's going to be some people awfully upset. Let me show you something. There's a radar map, Southern California, Las Vegas, and everything goes this direction. They said 60% last night <clears throat> that we're going to get high from this storm here. We're going to end up getting high winds and uh, rain. So uh, let's see if NASCAR weekend or Sunday, the big race gets going. But uh, yeah. Doesn't look good for them. <clears throat> so, today, uh, got the sea made down here. And uh, we are going to make a stand for it. This is the hull profile, the back, out of this piece of pine here, and the bandsaw. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, on the car, we're waiting for a Dynamac kit to come in. And uh, I'm just about there with the saving up for the hood, and I decided to go ahead and get the front upper valence too. And I'll hang on to this one because everybody remembers I did modify the ends of this one on both sides. So I'm going with Auto Metals Direct and uh, getting their hood and their upper valence, and uh, we'll see how that fits. I've had good luck with them so far, so uh, we'll see how that fits. I did find the uh, the locks for the inside door releases. And I got them all cleaned up and relubed. And uh, we'll probably tinker and put those in during the week. But uh, today is RC boat day, uh, the Sea Maid. We're going to get uh, the stand cut out and glued together and varnished up. And uh, so then I can stop using these clips to hold up the hull. So. As always, thanks for watching. When I have more, I'll turn this back on later. Hey, fellas. All right, I cut the patterns out, and we got them taped down on the board. We will trace them out. Uh, basically, what we'll end up doing is cutting a, for the forward half a stand and the back half, and then we'll, we'll glue them together with uh, dowel rods. And... Uh, Actually, this portion of the wood will be cut out so the boat can slide down in here. All right, this is all I got for now. When I have more, I'll turn it back on later. Yeah, the simplest way to mark this out was just to sit there and spray it with some rattle can paint. And uh, we'll let this dry, and then we'll pull it all off, and I'll have my two patterns marked out. When I have more, I'll turn this back on later. Okay, fellas, I used the bandsaw, and uh, I cut these two in half, and now I'll work on each one individually on how I'm going to make the stand itself. Remember, this is the portion that gets cut out, so the bolt sits in here. Uh, we'll probably draw a straight line, roughly right from this point across, and I'll go out to the bandsaw and cut that out. And then uh, we'll see what, where, where we're going to go from there. And again, we'll probably do the same here. As long as the two bottoms are the same, we'll use a half inch dowel to connect them. And they'll be about 13 inches apart, which if I remember this is this bulkhead. <coughs> no, excuse me. And uh, this 
is I think this bulkhead or this bulkhead I can't remember before I glued them in so the fun part is is going to be digging out the sander <laughs> all right when I have more I'll turn this back on later hey fellas I'm having way too much fun today I'm laughing at myself <clears throat> built this tool bench 18 years ago and I said I'm going to put the lip on it you know probably I think it's a good let's see yeah good one inch lip on it and I said in case I ever have to clamp anything to the bench 18 years I haven't had to do it until now yeah so I can get the jigsaw and cut these up these I cut on the bandsaw Ooh, nice wave but these I cut in the bandsaw and I'll get the jigsaw and cut the, the bottom portions out but funny how when you build a feature into something and you never use it and then all of a sudden one day it comes into play gotta love it when a plan comes together later guys Ooh, the clock's going all right I plan on putting felt or something down here because this hull is going to be mahogany and varnished so not to scratch it up but it seems to fit so we got the bow section done now we need to do is the stern okay when I have more I'll turn this back on later guys hey fellas both blocks are cut out and uh, looks like she'll work dowel rod is going to have to be 14 inches long between the two but first we'll be sanding these down uh, the only modification I'm going to have to make is when I get the drive in <clears throat> the prop shaft we call it the drive when I get the drive in I might have to sit there and modify that down there and I can sit there and do that with a Dremel and a sanding uh, drum and just but I won't, I'll paint it and get it all ready and uh, if we do that, then we could just touch it up and, uh, and get it going and take care of it that way. But happy with it so far. Uh, got a lot of sanding to do. And, uh, and we'll keep moving on. So when I have more, I'll turn this back on later. Hey, fellas. Well, they're all sanded down. A little heavy working on them, but uh, or a little heavy handed on the sanding, but they're good. The dowels will we'll drill a hole in the dowels and we'll interconnect them like this for both of them. Then we'll stain the whole thing and then we'll give a couple coats of clear varnish. Uh, right now, I got the heater burning off the last of the kerosene because. I don't think I'll be needing it anymore and then we'll put it in one of them big uh, contractor garbage bags and it's going to get stuffed back in the corner and uh, hopefully I'll get that in the corner as well as still getting the welder and the sander back there but we'll see so when I have more I'll turn this back on later guys hey fellas cleaned out back there a little bit but uh this is interesting. NASCAR just finished. I saw on TV had their final cup practice and the Xfinity race is getting ready to start. And this is coming in. I uh, looked at the radar map and uh, it's coming in. Just got a text from an old buddy of mine. Uh, he's a fire inspector. I used to work with JJ. And he's in Bakersfield, I think. And uh, they're, he's on a race team. And they're they're getting ready to uh, fire up the car to warm it up, drag racing, and uh, and got called in. They're on a rain delay. Well, if it's in Bakersfield, California, then it's definitely coming here. So uh, I just hope the NASCAR boys get their stuff off tomorrow. Well, anyway, we're getting ready to glue it up. Got my favorite glue, uh, the Gorilla Glue. Love that stuff. And so you got to moisten everything, the joints, and uh, I test fitted everything together. So. We're going to go ahead and uh, drill the holes. Didn't go all the way through. We're going to go ahead and glue it up. And then uh, once we glue it up, and then uh, we square it off and then clamp it together. 
and let her sit for a while and rough sand it and then we'll uh, stain it and then put a couple clear coats on it. As always, thanks for watching. When I have more, we'll turn this back on later. Hey fellas, uh, this will be the last video for today. Uh, I will take a video and show the stand completed. Uh, got the stain out, got the polyurethane out, and uh, she fits in there quite nicely. So, like I said, when we get to drive in, we're going to have to uh, work the bottom for the prop shaft coming through and everything else. But uh, yeah, that'll work out good. And I can finish building her and using that stand rather than uh, the two clamps hooked to the, the clamp to the hull. I'm going to hang on and save on to these patterns. You don't know when you're going to be building another one of these, even though this is a discontinued kit from Sterling. But <clears throat> always good to hang on to something like this. So that's all I got for today. Again, uh, back on the Camaro is we are waiting for the uh, uh, Dynamat kit I ordered it was cheaper in the hood and uh, we'll start doing that uh, my sons and I are going to a junkyard and we're going to look for an 0102 Camaro and get the back seats out of it or Firebird and see what we can do because that's I want to bring the council all the way back to the back and see what we can do there I made up my mind I'm going to do auto metals direct hood and upper valance and I probably got uh, probably the next uh, pension check I got coming in will uh, I'll be able to order that because shipping from Georgia is going to be about a hundred bucks for the hood so when we get that we'll be back on this car still no coolant leak and it has been warmed up and driven or not driven but backed on up and down the driveway so we'll take so that takes care of the coolant I think like I said, as I did find a, 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 a high volume uh, water pump that I could get powder coated in Chevy Orange and if we're going to pull the pump off, that's what we're going to end up doing. Uh, tough stuff performance. Uh, I'd email them and they said they can do it. Uh, they said uh, just go through Summit and I've called Summit and Summit said yeah, just let them know when they, I want to do it. And Like I said, if I'm going to pull that water pump, then we're going to do that. Also emailed E3 spark plugs and they told me what brand of, or what model of plug E3 plug to run in this thing. So I think the first time we're going to change plugs on this, we're going to go with E3s in it. And uh, that's about it. Uh, the part-time job uh, with the uh, city of North Las Vegas is coming together. They're moving a little slow. They are getting an auto plant built out there. It's a new electric car. Uh, Faraday I think I can't remember but uh, that's what they're hiring me for is for that particular project it's a five-year project which works out great because it's, I'll work five more years and then that's going to be it and it all depends upon what it does to my pension because my pension is a state-run pension and city of uh, North Las Vegas does contribute to that type of pension and if they're going to uh, penalize me and take some of my pension away then we might not be doing this uh, it all depends this is a part-time not to exceed 28 hours a week uh, job no benefits no health care no nothing it's just straight uh, straight pay they they don't pay for any health insurance or uh, I don't get any nothing no benefits whatsoever so we'll see what happens I haven't called the, the pension company yet until I get the <clears throat> the full order I went down and signed paperwork on Thursday and took their drug test they didn't tell me I should have studied for it but but I took their drug test and that should be a no-brainer I should pass that with flying colors and uh, once that gets done they'll email me the rest of it and I'll probably be starting there within a week or so so in that case it's gonna be more mad money for the Camaro then we're really gonna start jumping on this beast so before I really get babbling on. Uh, that's all I got for today. Everybody have a good good weekend and uh, make the best of it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thank you for leaving comments. Y'all have a good day. Later.